Okay, in today's video, I am going to go over how to determine equivalent capacitors, excuse me, equivalent capacitance for capacitors in series. This is the circuit we're going to use. We have a 12 volt supply and we have capacitor number one, capacitor number two, and capacitor number three, a 12 farad, a six farad, and a five farad capacitor. And you can see they're all lined up in a row here, and that means they are in series. Okay, now, of course, the thing you have to know for this is the equation. And the equation is like this. One over the total capacitance, or the equivalent capacitance. Okay, total capacitance, equivalent capacitance, same thing. One over the equivalent capacitance is equal to one over the capacitance of number one, plus one over the capacitance of number two, plus 1 over the capacitance of number 3. That's the equation you need to know, and all you need to do now is plug in the numbers. I just like to go like that. 1 over CT, 1 over the equivalent capacitance, is equal to 1 over 12 farads, plus 1 over 6, plus 1 over 5 farads. And now all you got to do is, in your calculator, punch in 1 divided by 12, plus 1 divided by 6, plus 1 divided by 5, and you should come out that the 1 over CT, 1 over the equivalent capacitance, is equal to 0.45 farads. Now, it is important to remember, this is not the equivalent capacitance. This is not the total capacitance. This is 1 over the equivalent capacitance. We want to know what the equivalent capacitance is, not what 1 over the equivalent capacitance is. Now, the way I'm going to do that algebraically is I'm going to take the reciprocal of this side of this equation and the reciprocal of this side of the equation. I'm going to flip this side over. I'm just going to turn it over, and I'm going to get that CT is equal to 1 over 0.45. So I take the reciprocal of this side, I get CT. I take the reciprocal of this side, which is 0.45, and I get 1 over 0.45. All right, so basically, in order to get the equivalent capacitance, I have to take 1 divided by what I got in the previous part of the equation, or the previous process. Now, in order to get the equivalent capacitance, I have to take that equivalent capacitance is now equal to 1 divided by. So in my calculator, I simply go 1 divided by 0.45. And therefore, I will get that the total capacitance, the equivalent capacitance of this circuit, is 2.22. If I do 1 divided by 0.45, then I get 2.22 farads. Okay? So that is how you calculate the equivalent capacitance for capacitors in series. This is the equation. You simply can't add them up. You can't add 12, 6, and 5. It would be nice. That's how you do it for capacitors in parallel. But for capacitors in series, just like for resistors in parallel, you have to use what I like to call the 1 over equation. 1 over the equivalent is equal to 1 over the capacitance of 1 plus 1 over the capacitance of 2 plus 1 over the capacitance of 3. Follow these steps. Keep your numbers all figured out. Keep your decimal places. Remember, this is 1 over CT. In order to get the equivalent capacitance, you have to take the reciprocal of both sides. You get 2.22. Okay? Think if you're careful, you follow those steps, think about your thinking, and you should come out with the correct answer. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you found that helpful. If you found that helpful, you can give me a thumbs up or a comment in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching.